Howdy folks, today we're turning a bucket full of brass into this lovely brass mallet. Our journey begins with trying to make a brass billet. Now, for some context, my friend Philippe asked if I can make him a brass mallet, and in return, he would film the whole process. Now, this is before he got here, because I wanted to have some things set up before he arrived. My plan for the brass billet was to melt all of the brass inside of a metal ladle, and then just kind of knock out the brass. But this first attempt failed, because things didn't melt thoroughly enough. It definitely looks like a like forbidden cheese, and it's not really melting. So I dropped in some borax, topped off the brass, and tried to melt it again. On the bright side, it's not leaking. On the downside, it's not leaking because it's not molten. <laughs> what if I try and take it out? Like, what if I... What'll happen if I... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's just, it's, okay. After that unfortunate event, I tried crushing all of my brass so that there'd be less air inside of it, which would hopefully make it easier to melt and congeal. And also, when I melted it this time, I really blasted it, pretty much as hot as my forge can go. Oh yeah, now that's a liquid. And the goo on top is boratic glass. You pour that out. Oh yeah, isn't that... Don't you just want to lick that? Okay, well, the whole thing is solid now, so I'm gonna try and, while it's still like really hot, try and get it out. Because I think once it cools, it's gonna be trapped in there forever. Oh no, this is like infused into the crystalline structure of the steel. Yep, that's boiling water in an instant. Instant coffee. That brass is well and truly stuck. I saw this in a Torbjorn Amin video once. Uh, his one on making oil lamps, where it's like he melted uh, some metal in steel, and it like climbed up and diffused itself into the structure. Not even pretending to move. All right, now that my lovely friend Philippe is here, you're gonna notice a significant bump in the quality of this video. And our first objective is to get our little nugget of gold out of its steel prison. The problem is the, the brass has like bonded to the structure of the steel. It's not just stuck in there. Do you think if we melt it out, maybe it will be able to slide it out? Tells me you're out of a blade again. What would give you that impression? <laughs> Isn't it pretty? And so with our now little over two pound billet, I started consolidating it when I realized I think that's cracks and not just bubbles. But it was too late to turn back now and I'm not making another brass billet so long as I live. So I just kept consolidating it and forging it down into a billet. Really, the turning point where things started to go truly wrong was when we started punching the eye. It was going great, but eventually the punch started to get more stuck in the eye, so I had to make some forge loop. What does it do? Uh, well, our punch was getting a little bit stuck then, so I'm crushing up all of this charcoal so that we have, like, you know, as you can see, <laughs> wow, it's, uh, it's slippery, it's kind of like graphite. Got me. And so that'll help it slip out. So I may have melted a bit off the corner of the billet, but we figured we would just keep forging and deal with it after the fact. I assumed I could probably grind in some kind of detail to make it look intentional, but then... Oh no! Oh no! Critical failure! So we flipped it around and started punching from the other side, pretty much just as a Hail Mary to hopefully get something useful out of this. But to my surprise... <laughs> I can see him! Woo! 
I gotta say, it does look pretty cool. So I did a lot of grinding and filing on this, mostly to try and get the eye to the proper proportions and clean it up, but also to clean up the striking face a little bit and shine up that bit that exploded off to make it look more intentional. Okay, so now that we have our hammer head, I need to make a handle for it. And Philippe dropped off these chunks of holly, I think? Not fully certain, but these nice fat chunks of wood. So I'm gonna remove the majority of the material on the lathe before I shape it anywhere else. I actually love this thing. I think it looks really cool with this massive blown out section. Definitely not in my usual style, but I think it kind of makes it look like it's been in a war or something. And honestly, if anything, it's a little bit heavy. You know, like for a brass mallet, just mostly for gently tapping things home, it's, it's hefty. Now, is it objectively cool looking? No, no, it's definitely an acquired taste, but I'm happy with it. And I'm certain Philippe will be too.